Hello everyone. This is a small video that I made to troubleshoot your RF transmitter and receiver circuit. The basic idea is to isolate the RF signal totally so that you don't have to worry about the radio frequency at all. Remove the modules RF tra uh, transmitter and receiver and uh, manually short the data out of the encoder to the data in of the decoder. This way you are able to isolate problems caused through due to the RF transmitter and receiver. On the left side you can see that uh, I have the decoder with uh, LEDs connected to them to show the output and on the right side I have the encoder uh, which does not have any switches so I'll just be using a wire to ground each uh, each of the input to show the variation in the LED now now I'm grounding one wire you can see that the corresponding LED on the other side is going low this means that the data encoded here that is the data in the the 4 bit data that I'm giving here is encoded on the encoder side and then serially transmitted through the wire to the decoder and then it is decoded and displayed in the in the form of LED outputs. This simple but effective test proves that your encoder and decoder is working properly. So whatever problem you may have with your RF transmission and reception is not caused due to your encoder and decoder. Um, since only wire is uh, used there is a very low, low chance of error and the circuit is very bare minimum follow the schematics properly and you should be able to have this working and most of the time it's not your encoder and decoder that causes the problem but this is one thing that you should rule out before you can move on to the other tr troubleshooting methods now I'll add another wire to show that uh, now two LEDs are gone low you can see now uh, that uh, 1001 was there So, two binary data has been given. Wait a second. Yeah. Now there will be 0, 1, 0, 1. So, you can see that uh, two pins on the encoder is grounded and those two LEDs are going low on the decoder side. So, this um, hopefully this will increase your chances of success with the project. You can re replace the wire that I have connected with the RF transmitter and receiver module. Uh, you will have to put a transmitter to the encoder and uh, receiver to the decoder and then isolate the circuit in a different breadboard and test it with the RF circuitry. Thanks for watching. Visit emberjournal.com for more details. Good luck with your project.